at the Eurosotry International Defense Exhibition in Paris. The new Panther main battle tank from the German company Rhine Metal was the center of attention. Talks about the tank are still going on, but how much better is it compared to its predecessor, the Leopard 2A7, which is already considered the benchmark? You will get the answers in this video, we will take apart each component and make conclusions. Is the Panther really a revolutionary tank or just a pretty rock? Let's go! Demonstrating his company's brainchild, Ryan Metal CEO Armin Papager said the Panther is a continuation of the Leopard 2 family of tanks. And indeed, the novelty has inherited the power unit, transmission and running gear. Well, the turret is very similar to its predecessor. With all this, the weight of the Panther is 59 tons, which is 3 tons less and has a cruising range of 500 kilometers. In general, as they say in Ryan Metal, their product should become a completely new and rethought tool, able to perform both fire and reconnaissance tasks. And now, let's elaborate on certain aspects. The stronger the protection, especially against subcaliber shells, the more it weighs, as demonstrated by the significantly heavier latest modifications of the Abrams and Leopards 2. But the Panther with a mass of 59 tons looks slimmed down. We can't speak here about concrete figures of resistance to weapons because of the lack of data. But the tonnage indicates that the level of passive armor of the new tank is unlikely to suppress the Leopard 2A7. Also, the tank has dynamic protection, apparently it also consists of steel sheets and put between them rubber-like pads, but probably some of the elements could be replaced by more efficient and energy-consuming. There is also an active protection, in this case there is AMAP, Advanced Modular Armor Protection System. This complex uses as a means of protection that fired ammunition with controlled detonation. Two groups of sensors are responsible for the detection of attacking objects, which determine the trajectory, speed and type of projectile and transmit the data to the onboard computer, which already takes the decision to fire the counter munitions. The reaction speed of the system is only 56 milliseconds, which is enough to destroy not only anti-tank grenades and rockets, but also subcaliber rounds. The tank is also equipped with a system to detect and counteract homing anti-tank missiles attacking the roof. It is also an aerosol screen that camouflages the tank and detects them, most likely cameras operating in the infrared and ultraviolet ranges, capable of detecting the missile by the radiation from its engine. Well complements this peculiar air defense, remote control machine gun, which is capable of engaging unmanned aerial vehicles. The Leopards are currently equipped with the mass active Daniel system, which detects and responds within one to one and a half seconds by activating a smoke screen or infrared jamming signal to the launch platform. By 2025, it's planned to install Israeli Profi on the Leopard 2A7 tanks, which has already proved itself in combat conditions and can withstand the majority of anti tank shells. One of the main features of the Panther is its 130mm L52 smoothbore gun. In comparison, the Leopard 2 is equipped with 120mm cannon, but as it's almost fully used up and can no longer provide significant increase in muzzle energy, which affects the penetration of kinetic energy projectiles, tank builders began to look at the 140mm cannon. The L-52 is almost identical to the 120mm gun in weight and dimensions, but provides 50% more muzzle energy, which with the increased diameter of the barrel by 10mm will allow to create more powerful ammunition for different purposes. But this change in the caliber of the Panther led to an increase in the weight of the rounds to about 30kg. So the loader, a human, in this tank was replaced by a charging machine with a capacity of 20 rounds. Another 10 are in a non-mechanized stowage. A special novelty was equipping the tank with the Hero 120 Kamikaze drone, which can be operated by any crew member. The vehicle is capable of flying to 40 km during the day and night. You can use it as a scout, but the main purpose is to destroy equipment and stationary objects. Also, in the roof of the turret, closer to the sides, there are niches for two quadrocopters used for reconnaissance at short distance from the tank. The Panther Gunner has a multi-channel sight in the frontal part of the turret, just like the Leopard 2. It has the standard sight in the form of a TV channel, automatic target tracking and laser rangefinder. And the Commander has a panoramic observation device with 360-degree rotation, so you can observe the terrain, detect and identify targets, shoot at them with a cannon and coaxial machine gun. Also, the hunter-shooter principle is realized when the Commander marks the target and the Gunner hits it. There is nothing fundamentally new here. 
Additional visibility is provided by the transparent armor system, consisting of cameras mounted in all projections of the tank. The image from them comes to the displays of all crew members. What can we say about the Panther? Probably, that is just a modified Leopard 2, which doesn't look revolutionary at all. In general, of course, the tank leaves a double impression. All these innovations in the form of a new gun, electronics, active protection and other things are really necessary things. But the feeling that Ryan Metal is trying to sell an old product in a new wrapper is still present. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it. See you next time!